I'm Dr. Al Copeland. I'm a faculty member in the Department of Cancer Biology at Mayo Clinic. We've made some new discoveries recently that have been published in the journal Molecular Cancer Therapeutics. And the discovery has to do with uh, two drugs that regulate the genome or the epigenome. And these two drugs we have found act in synergy. They act together to um, cause the re-expression of genes that are important uh, tumor suppressor genes. That is, they inhibit tumor growth. And there are sets of oncogenes that uh, suppress these genes. And these drugs cause the derepression of these genes, and now they become re-expressed. And this is pretty hard in cancer, that is, to have genes that are silenced and now they can be turned back on. And so these two drugs we have found turn these tumor suppressor genes on. And one gene that we've found specifically is secreted frizzled related uh, protein 1, or SFRP1 for short. And this is what our major finding is in, in this publication, is that SFRP1 mediates the anti-tumor activity of these two epigenetic uh, drugs. And so we've found this, found this to be true in kidney cancer as well as triple negative breast cancer. These two cancers are known to be um, drug resistant and have, um, a triple negative breast cancer has no effective therapy to date for patients. And so we're pretty excited about this uh, finding as well as with uh, kidney cancer is metastatic disease uh, is very hard to treat as well. So metast metastatic disease um, uh, uh, is, is the major cause of most cancer-related deaths. And metastatic uh, tumors are much more drug-resistant and, and hard to treat. And, and in most of these cancers, this phenomena of silencing genes uh, that are tumor suppressor genes uh, is true true for these uh, metastatic cancers. And so, so demonstrating that these two drugs uh, act uh, synergistically to re-express uh, silenced tumor suppressor genes is an important finding and, and may have very important clinical, clinical ramifications. As well as being able to take these two drugs and alter the epigenome of the tumor, it, these tumors can, may now be more sensitive to other chemotherapeutics. And so one can envision combining these two epigenetic drugs, pretreating the tumor to make it more sensitive to other drugs. Um, so you can clearly see treating with combinations of three drugs here now that could play a very important benefit for patient survival. So all of this work is, is preclinical in nature, and so the next step is to perform clinical trials. So now that we've shown proof of concept, and, and so uh, the next steps are to design clinical, clinical trials using these epigenetic therapies to see if we can show a, a survival benefit for patients uh, on, the, on these therapies.